Hello everybody, how are you? I'm Karen Barna, welcome to my Facebook page. And I wanted to kind of ask your opinion. I was interviewed yesterday on the radio for my book, The Blue Rose Bookstore. I know, shameless plug, but I admit it. And they asked me if the book was spiritual or uh, magical. And I really wasn't sure how to answer that, other than the sun, of course, the sun goes down as soon as I start broadcasting. Oy vey. Spiritual or magical, and I didn't know how to answer that, because I'm not sure there's a difference. I think there's a difference in how you interpret it. What, what you believe each word has, what meaning you place on each word. And I think that is the answer to everything I know. This is what happens when you have winter in Arizona. The sun's very unpredictable. It's, it's the meaning you place on each word. Because to me, the Wizard of Oz could be considered spiritual or magical, depending. You could say, well, it's magical because of all the magical things, the, you know, the, the witches, the flying monkeys. But you could also say it was spiritual because in the end it had a very spiritual meaning. So. I'm not sure how to answer that question. So I wanted to put it out to you guys and say, you know, what do you, what do you think the answer is? Do you see a difference in that question or do you think they're really kind of one and the same? Now you could say magic is magic, so you do the card tricks and uh, make the quarter come out of your ear and make flames come out of your hand and make people disappear in a little box. And you could say spiritual is a deeper meaning. But you could also say magic is very mystical because if you forget about the putting people in boxes and twirling them around or cutting people in half, there's a very mystical part to magic where people really have a magical gift. So I'm curious to know what you think. If you think they are two separate things, because you could argue that spiritual is religious based. I don't view spirituality as that. I view spirituality as the whole world the whole universal powers and the gifts everybody has as being spiritual. But some people I think may view it religiously. And so when they asked me about my book, whether it was magical or spiritually, I wasn't sure if they meant, do you think it was religious based or magical? And I had to answer it spiritual. Because I think anytime we're on a quest to answer the who am I, who do I wanna be and how do I get there question, I think that's a spiritual based question because you have to be willing to look within. You have to be able to do the deep dive to get to the bottom of that. Because I think the hardest question for people to answer, for the majority of the people to answer is who am I? And I talked about this before, a lot of people, you know, who am I? I'm a wife, I'm a mother, I'm, you know, I'm a daughter, I'm CEO, I'm a salesperson, whatever. When really that's not it, it's who are you? Are you empathetic? Are you kind? Are you generous? Are you, you know, do you have dreams? What are your dreams? What are your goals? What do you really want to accomplish in life? Who are you? And to me, that's a spiritual answer. But again, I wonder how many people think it would be a magical answer. So I'd love to know what people's definition of spiritual is versus their definition of magical. And do they view magical as in magic, you know, the magician pulling rabbits out of their hat? Or do they view magic as the true shamans, the true magical people that have made true magic happen? And I'm not saying cutting people in half and rabbits out of your, you know, out of hats is not a gift because I certainly can't do it. But I think there's two different kinds. So please let me know what you think about it. Because um, it's an interesting question that I've thought about now for well over 24 hours to answer that question. Because again, if you're thinking spirit is religious based, then you would say, no, my book's not religious based because I certainly don't get into any religions, nor do I talk about any dogma or what religion the characters are. It is a spiritual journey just like, as I said, The Wizard of Oz is a very spiritual journey that Dorothy undertakes to get to her final why. And again, I think that's why we're all on this path to answer our why. Why are we here? Why are we doing what we do? What are we supposed to do and why? And how do we get there and why? So I think, you know, the why is the overarching 
big question. So let me know what you think. Do you see a difference between magical and spiritual? And if you do, what is the difference? Please let me know. If you're on my, if you're watching this on YouTube, please give me a subscribe. If you're watching this on Facebook Live, please comment below. Turn on your notifications so you know when I'm on live because I come on live different times of the day, really depending on my schedule and what I'm up to. Hi, Teresa, how are you? Hi, Crystal, how are you? Depending on my schedule and what I'm up to, so I, I don't really time it out well. And plus, I like to see you know, who comes on at different times of the day. So let me know your answer to the question. Hi, Diane. Let me know your answer to your question because I, I find it an intriguing question. Although I think there's so many intriguing questions about the universe. I could go sit on a desert island with a lot of books, because you guys know I'm a voracious reader, with a lot of books and just ponder life and the meaning of life and the whys to every turn and the what happens and the explanations. Because at the end of the day, I love the human experience. And I love understanding what motivates people to do what they do. I mean, we have, not to get into politics, but I, I watch politics so closely because it fascinates me. Why people do what they do. The Me Too movement, I am so fascinated by it. Why now? What, 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 what brought us to this point and where do we go from here? I just, I mean, the wonders of the world, I, I just could, I'm in awe of it. And I'm in awe of the humans. And the hu human, I, I love life in general too, Teresa. I, I am in awe with just the whole overarching, we're here, now what question. So anyway, I digress. Let me know about the magical versus spiritual. Do you see a difference? And if so, what it is? I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Um, here's defining your blue rose. And if you have any questions or anything, please let me know. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.